When you think about the best shooting badges in 2K history, you think about Sniper in 2K22, Hot Zone Hunter in 2K21, Green Machine in 2K20, Deep Range Deadeye in 2K19, Limitless Range, all those very good badges. Well, what would you do if I told you we already know the best shooting badge in 2K23? Everyone is struggling to shoot and this badge can help almost everybody. All right, y'all, look, so today I'm on my new shot creator build that I talked about in the last news video. It's six foot one. It's basically made to be a super dribbler. As you guys see, I got 34 playmaking badges i put my plus four onto the playmaking i've almost got this build finished already the next thing i have to do is get my core badges and then this build is pretty much done so if you want to see this on youtube you want me to show you how to make this build that you'll be seeing in today's gameplay just get this video to 5,000 likes anyway the shooting badge we're talking about today does not explain itself in the description it's agent threes improves the ability to make pull up or spin shots from three point range you might be like oh my i'm out the video nope this has nothing to do with my build just watch so this badge was tested by 2k labs and it works for spin shots dribble pull ups dribble stop and shoot stand still shot after one dribble stand still step back shots and just running around simply running around you're gonna see this badge pop up over and over and it's gonna help you shoot a lot better on 2k23 i threw on this badge and ever since then i've been hitting way more shots including my fadeaways obviously all right so just in case you're still thinking i'm not listening to badge plug i'm not listening to 2k labs this is the only way agent threes works when you do fadeaways like that so let's go back to the gameplay in yesterday's news video as you see on the fast break i'm gonna pull up right here green the shot right i wasn't fully stopped and watch what's gonna pop up in the top right agent threes yes on the smallest things now onto this next clip i just do a little simple you know move shoot my shot bang agent threes pops up once again i'm telling you one of if not the most important badge on nba 2k23 right now so let's get into the gameplay and i'm gonna show you the real power of agent threes because yeah i've showed you that you know you can get your agent threes to pop up on stop shots and all that stuff but this is what agent threes really can do on 2k23 you can use it in so many different ways and like i said guys if you want to see this build just get this video to 5,000 likes i know it's going to do really good if you guys have been enjoying the content please drop a like man i've been trying to give you the best possible content for 2k23 anyway i'm going to run to the side fade away green just like that all day long and you might be thinking well badge you're six foot one i've seen that you got 25 shooting badges yes of course that helps a lot you know this build's got a 92 three-pointer it shoots extremely good yes that does help but my friend right here miyagi's who is the center the six foot nine popper fades away three-pointers with agent threes on bronze okay i want you to watch this possession very closely i come down the court run over to the perimeter he reaches one time fade away green just like that let's instant replay it one little reach and i'm gone just enough room to fade away in the corner with corner specialist on as well and that's all day you cannot do that so i don't think that unpluckable is super good this year you do get ripped a lot on ball but look at this right here another one just one step he had two places to pick right there i could have ran really fast to the left really fast to the right and he didn't pick the right way that's a green so i want to let you all know as well agent threes is extremely good we talked about every single way that it works but you actually don't need agent threes to fade away threes consistently on my 100 and 0 streak as you guys know i went like 134 and 0 or something like that on 2k23 before i lost my guard was not using agent threes and fading away pretty consistently so it's gonna help you shoot more consistently but you don't actually need it on to shoot fade away threes like literally you don't need it okay i see locks without agent threes at all fading away threes but of course it's gonna help you hit it more just like 2k labs just did their test on limitless range and yes as you'll see from my gameplays as well i don't have limitless range on right now and i can shoot from half court and green the shots right but if you have on the limitless range badge you're gonna hit your limitless range shots more that's really the only way i can explain it you guys can take from what i just said you know what i'm saying i'm also gonna show you guys how to do these fadeaways as well because it's very similar to 2k22 next gen and i would say it's about just as overpowered except for the fact that of course we've got adrenaline boost on a guard uh glove is extremely good lockdowns bump like crazy once again running to that corner green did that look open to you 
I want you to let me know in the comment section right now. Just say yes, that was open. No, that wasn't open. From a quick glance, just watch it. Did that look open? That's the type of things you can do with this certain fadeaway. It's only one fadeaway that can do that that I've tried so far. And it's very similar to 22 Next Gen, like I told you guys. I'm also going to show you how to do it. But real quick, I just got to show you how amazing Agent 3s is. So shout out to my team. As you guys know, when you've seen my stats, bro, I play a lot of team basketball. Right there, I missed my first fade. The left fade is a lot harder. Check this out. Shooting from crazy deep with spot up precision. Not even the limitless range take over but yes fadeaways are super good i play team basketball i usually don't score 18 points per game you know what i'm saying i like to get my team involved and really that's the best way to win right now but of course i'm trying to make a video you see bang pulling up just like that seven percent contested that's why you need guard up if you're a guard extremely good badge as well which i might make a video on but i don't know because guard up only works on yellow contest and red contest when there's no hand up so keep that in mind when you're using your shooting badges because how many shots are you taking that's yellow or red with no hand up? You got to keep that in mind when you're setting up your badges. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how many badges you have. So I'm going to run to the corner right here. Fade just like that. Wide open. Wide open. Now, of course, he didn't jump or anything, but he was pretty close to me for you know it to say wide open. So I'm going to catch the ball right here in the corner. Run out. Hit Yogs. Oh, he's going to pump fake. And watch. Oh, right to the corner. To A dot. Bang. Just like that. Team basketball that's what i'm liking so far on 2k23 a lot yogs is just hawking them lanes i'm pulling up right away green bean machine guys this build is very very good i really really like this build literally the only issue is the defense as you'll see right here i'm about to get broken when i was just standing there but you know that's what happens when you don't put defense on your build i guess and it has similarities to a play shot it can shoot very good and it can dribble very good but you guys know every year i do everything i've got six builds already look they both jumped greeny anyway i'm not gonna lie to y'all the proof is in the pudding that i've been enjoying the game i'm pretty sure i've already got more builds on this game than i did on 2k22 and 2k21 i've got a 6-1 two six threes two six sixes and a seven foot demon so you see a dot right there is gonna get his rebound and green a fade away three like i said you don't need agent threes to be able to fade but of course it's gonna help you fade a lot more efficiently and all the other things that you get with agent threes as well you see i'm just gonna run to the corner fade and that's all day at this point i'm grinning almost every single one of those shots at the moment and i'm about to show you guys how to do this fadeaway, which fadeaway to use, and all that as well. So please, if you made it this far and you haven't yet, drop a like on the video, man. I know I've said it a few times, but I really, really need you guys to support me because I've been trying my best out here to give you all really good 2K23 content and to help you at the game at the same time. So this build you see is just too nasty. If you can figure out how to just get away with it on defense, you're going to be able to do that all day long but let's get into the fadeaway okay so the animation that gives you the fadeaway is your dribble pull up you want to have on trey young this is the one that i'm using currently or normal now if you like any other fadeaway go ahead but i'm just saying i've tested both of these out and they're very good but i do think that trey young is better and i'll explain why as i'm showing you how to do the fadeaway so like i said i made this build to just be very good at dribbling because how low stamina is this year and stuff like that but it just turned out to be kind of like a play shot so it's whatever but anyway you're gonna run over to your corner or wherever you want to fade let go of turbo and then hold your your shooting button so watch i'm gonna show you real quick what happens on trey young if you just don't do anything and you you know keep your turbo on you're gonna get this type of fadeaway right there yeah you don't want that fadeaway now what you'll see the reason why i like trey young very good is i'm gonna run over here to the right run across and you see it just gives you a very good angle like the angle on it is super good it's gonna put you right up on the line like every single time that's the reason why a lot of the 2k league pros used trey young last year because it was just by far the best fade one of the biggest reasons why it's the best fadeaway is you can do this thing called an angle fade you see i'm gonna be able to like throw myself behind the three-point line even though i was standing at the mid-range and that's just kind of gonna like mess the contest system up a little bit of course it can still be contested but it's a very good fadeaway to use and i really highly recommend you use trey young over normal but normal is very good as well so once again you're gonna do every single move you want to do when it comes time to shoot all you do is let go of turbo and then hold x or square if you're on playstation that's all you have to do 
over and over you go to fade let go of turbo now of course it's gonna take some getting used to right and your fade away is also like you see when i'm out of stamina or low on stamina gonna be a lot slower so you have to be careful what you're doing anyway y'all make sure to drop a like on this video hit that subscribe button if you're new and if you're on xbox make sure to add me every time i'm playing in the park i do appear online click one of these last two videos it's your boy bash plug you've been plugged in and don't worry i will be on playstation sooner in the year and i'm out